hello in this video i am going to show you how you can make countdown timer using php mysql so first of all i am going to show you output what we are going to generate so this is my database this is my table and we are getting duration from table okay now you can see uh, right now it is shown as 41 minute and 36 second and so on now i am going to change here i pass here 12 minutes and go now i have to run here one page first.php and now you can see our countdown starts from 10, 12 minutes and the main advantage is this when you are going to refresh this then countdown will not re uh, uh, refresh it will start from where it uh, stops so this is the main advantage now again i am going to refresh this you can see uh, right now 11.38 and refresh and i got here from 11.37 so this is the main advantage now what is the use of this countdown timer when you are going to perform an project of online examination on the time you need this countdown timer so i am going to show you how you can make this type of timer using php and mysql so this is 100 percent dynamic okay so right now i create one folder timer and on this timer folder i add one file first.php so i am going to run this file timer and then first.php okay and i have one database database name is kayur and table name is table one okay so we are going to start this first of all we need to get this value from database so i have to do here database connectivity here session start now i am going to pass a dollar link is equal to mysql i connect and here localhost root and password is blank now i am going to pass here mysql i select db and our database name is Payur and we have to pass here dollar link ok now we have to pass our select query and here we have to pass select query select star from table 1 and here we have to loop while loop while dollar row is equal to and we are going to take one variable dollar duration and we start in his lesson blank now here we pass dollar duration is equal to dollar row and we are going to pass here duration now this duration we are going to store in session so dollar slow session duration is equal to dollar duration now we want current time so we are going to store current time in this session start underscore time is equal to date and in this we need to pass capital y small m small d capital h small i and small s this is for year this is for month this is for day this is for hour this is for minute and this is for second now we need here end time dollar end time is equal to this end time we have to do like this we have to take the start time and add our duration we have to increase start time plus duration so this is very difficult so i copy and paste because there are so many dots and everything but you can do it easily we have to write like this end time okay now we are going to store this in session and underscore time and is equal to dollar end time okay 
so we store n time in also this session and now we move on another file file name should be index.php okay. so this file is useful for when you are starting your exam on that time we are, you have to run this file and after that you have to forward in your examination page so now i am going to create one more page and I am going to save here index.php ok so now we are going to perform code in this index.php file now first of all we have to do here session start so I am going to do here session start and now we have to get response from another file so for getting this one so i am going to take here one division division name is division id is response and now we are going to write a jets code set interval and we have to take here function and time duration is 1000 1000 milliseconds so it is known as one second so you have to write first like this then you have to press enter here and enter here now we have to write code inside this so i am going to write here let's simulate ttp is equal to new let's simulate ttp request now HTML HTTP dot open and here we have to pass get method then then we have to pass our page name our page name is response dot php and now HTML HTTP dot send null and now we have to store element id response dot inner html is equal to html http dot response text we have to get response text from another file and we have to display in this response dot ph so this is your main examination page uh, where you you want to display your countdown time or where you have to write this line okay so now this page code is over and now we have to write one more page code it is known as response.ph so here again we have to start session so session start and now we are going to take one variable dollar from underscore time one is equal to date here again pi and d over minute and second in from time now we are going to take one variable to underscore time one is equal to the underscore session and we are going to take variable end time now dollar time first in this variable we have to make this time in converted string time dollar from underscore time one now we have to take dollar two time and now we are going to take another variable time second and here we are going to take two underscore time one dollar two underscore time okay now dollar difference in seconds we take one variable dollar difference second and on this dollar time second minus dollar time first 
and now it go gm date function using this function we are going to uh, display our time countdown timer our minute second and dollar dollar difference in second okay so code is over and now we are going to check here if we are getting error or not oh we are getting nothing so we have to check what is the problem so i think our problem is here now i am going to check here what is the problem yeah we have to write here document now i am going to run this again first.php and you can see our countdown is here why we get ok we have to check here what is the problem dollar from time one date ymd his to time one session end underscore time time first string to time dollar from time one dollar time second to underscore time one different second dollar time second minus oh minus not equal to yeah we can see our exit countdown timer 11 55 now i am going to set here 45 second uh, sorry 45 minutes and then go now you have to run first because uh, in this file your exam will start and now in second page you can see here countdown timer now you don't want this is for hour this is for minute and this is for second but you don't want this hour then you have to just remove here and now you can see only minute and second and you want hour then write like this so you can see here now you want big font so you have to change here in index going style then font size i am going to write here 100 pixel and we want in center so i am going to use here center tag mm. so this way we can make a dynamic countdown timer using php mysqli and ajax so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please share it so maximum people can use this thank you so much